the way the practices have developed over time, the way that people, specifically um, enslaved people in the U.S., were using um, weaving and quilting to s- survive and to, um, like, gain access um, to white society. I think it's um, it's nice to feel like connected to those people, even though I don't know who they are, and um, many of them we don't know their names, so. My name is Kier Brown Ransaw. I'm a Minneapolis-based artist, um, a independent curator and educator. Um, I am from Wauwatosa, Wisconsin, um, and I moved here for school, so, and I've been here ever since. Um, I don't know. And I guess the work that I make is um, primarily centered around um, my own family, my chosen family, built family, um, and then larger uh, cultural family as a Black person um, in the world. Um, And everything that that means um, and the ways that that affects me and the way that my life affects others. Um, And I explore that primarily through fiber. Um, I find that having something tactile and something really um, process-oriented is really comforting for me. It, it, there's just so much history of it that um, is actually written um, and other things that are constantly being explored in um, existing pieces that it, it feels grounding and connecting. Um, and it, it helps me connect to something that's more um, ethereal and not so um, concrete and physical. I think in school you're taught th- this is what was happening, this is uh, how this was solved, and it's like, well, that just can't be true. Like, that simply cannot be the case for everyone. Um, and so knowing that and like existing as a person that it's like and I know that's not true because I'm the result of that like I'm like these are people that I know that are a result of the the exact thing that you're saying didn't exist I'm working with some research that I had been doing into uh, the identities of people that were kidnapped, enslaved, and were being um, trafficked illegally during, or in the, in the 60 years following the outlaw of the transatlantic slave trade. There's a database online um, that has kind of all of these names, um, their ages, what countries they're from, um, what the sh- some of them go as far as to like have the ships that they were on, where they had left from, where they were going, um, just like very intense documents that were kept um, about the identity of these people. Um, and from that research, I parsed out all of the names of people who were children, um, 18 years and younger, and, um, it, it was a list of more than 30,000 names in the end, um, and so I'm just kind of, I'm working with that document as, like, a jumping off point for what I'm doing. I am a person um, that is autistic and, like, being, like, connecting with people um, and understanding how I'm connected to people 
is one of those things that's really hard for me um and understanding like it's it's really easy for me to connect with people through um and I think for most people truthfully just like through shared interest um but I'm not interested in a lot of things except art (laughs) and um art in media and so I think it is truly where it's it's one of the places beyond biology and like physiology um where I can find myself and connect myself to others and I can connect other people to other people I think when when you find the thing that you love to do just because you love doing it, 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 there hasn't been a day that I've been like, I don't want to do this just because it's like for, like for something else. Um, I don't, I haven't grown to, uh, hate my job as an artist um I really love it a lot and it's a thing that I think about all the time um and it's nice to do and I I stress about how I'm going to do it um and that's that's how I know it's the like the thing for me to do